What's going on guys? It's Edward with Crypto University. In this video, we're going to be talking about the manual buy sell terminal on the smart trade terminal of three commas. So if you don't know how to access the smart trade, we briefly reviewed that in our previous video. You can click right here to get to the smart trade terminal and you'll see this page right here. This is the top of the smart trade terminal. So then you will first choose an exchange that you want to trade on. So I have multiple exchanges connected. We're going to just go ahead and trade on this one right here into the USDT market. So let's go ahead and select USDT for our market and our trading pair. We're going to go ahead and look at good old BTC. So as we previously discussed, you have trading signals here. Now this is your BTC USDT chart that you have selected from above. So this is where you can map your trade. Using three commas interface, you don't even have to open up your Binance account to make your trades. You can literally just do everything from three commas. You can look at the chart and plot support and resistance here with the same tools that you have available on TradingView because this chart is powered by TradingView. So it combines a lot of amazing tools into one beautiful place that you can take advantage of it. So you can see here the order book as well to plan your trades. Now, in this video, we're going to be discussing the first tab here, buy and sell. So there's also smart trade, smart sell, smart cover, and smart buy. We're not talking about any of that today. We're talking about the basic buy sell terminal. So you might be familiar with something like this on the exchange you currently use. So let's just make it easy. This is the units. This is where you would input how many units of BTC you would wish to buy. So if I wanted to buy 0 0.012 units, of Bitcoin I would select that right there and I could choose a limit or a market order right here so if you don't know what the difference between limit and market is if you place a limit order it will wait to be filled at that price for the entire order and if not it might not get filled market order means you want it to get executed right then there in the market price each one has its own fees differently you need to check out what the fees are like on your exchange to see what might work best for you so it'll display the price right here of the coin that you wish to trade live. So it will change even if you're not looking at the chart up here. You can see it changing right here as I'm talking, which is great. So you can select how many units you want to buy. Or you can come here to the total and put how much money you want to spend. If you only wanted to spend $250, it would adjust your units up here. So if you type in here, the price change will affect how much units you get. As you can see, the units change live. There we go. And if you type in here, zero, let's just say, now you'll note that down here, this changes. So this will stay the same if you type it in up top, and this will change as price changes. And if you type it in down here, then this will change as price changes. So. You can also use one of these widgets right here, which means basically if you want to use 5% of your available balance, you press that. If you want to use 50% of your available balance, you press that. It'll display what the current price is and how much units you'll get for 50% of your current value. If you wanted to go 100% of what you have available currently, then it would tell you how much you could buy right there. Same goes for sell, except in the opposite. So if you had right here, it'll tell you how much coin you have. And that's how much USDT I have. And right here, it'll tell you how much coin you have. That's how much Bitcoin I have. So if I wanted to place a sell order for USDT, it would show the same, right? If I wanted to place a sell order, if I did limit, the price would not change. Whenever I pr wanted to sell at that price, it would be I would want to sell this many units at this price no matter what. If I did a market sell right now, I'd want to sell this many units right now for this price and get this much USDT. Or I can go to sell 50% and get this much USDT at market price for this many units. As you can see, that changes live as well. So that's pretty much it. That's basically how you use the manual buy sell terminal. Once you make a manual buy or sell order, you can see it here in your trade history. 
So if you scroll down, the manual buy order cell looks like this. We talked briefly about it in the previous video, but you can see here a smart trade, a completed smart trade would look like this with profit tracking. So you could drop down and see what you entered and what you exited at. And right here, since this was a manual buy, there is no exit. You can just see the price that you paid for it. All right, guys, I hope you learned something from that one. Get ready for the next one. We're going to be talking about the Smart Trade Terminal. This is one of the best tools 3Commas has to offer, and it's going to be a big game changer for your day trading strategies.